Hello guys and welcome to the 14th Raspberry Pi tutorial. Um, I'm afraid it's going to be a pretty quick one again today. Um, and the reason for that is that I'm basically trying to um, trying to stretch out this, this Pi Snake thing. Um, just simply because um, launch day is only supposed to be a couple of uh, weeks off now. And um, th I don't see the point in starting anything and then having to stop it because I'll be doing all kinds of tutorials. Um, I basically plan to, um, as soon as I get my Raspberry Pi, um, film everything I do with it. So that'll be um, putting the images onto the SD card, booting it up, um, s like configuring it and just just stuff like that, um, how to use it efficiently. So um, like using um, command line apps where appropriate rather than using GUI apps is going to be... Um, going to be one way to use it quickly and uh, and that's that's also a good thing to know in general as well um, because if you ever come across um, or like find out that you're going to have to work with some Linux servers um, that's going to mean that you probably won't have a um, user interface on and you'll have to work with it from the um, from the command line um, yeah but any, anyway um, what I've basically added to this game is um, is collision detection so, so what you'll notice now is that if I um, if I hit the side, then the game's going to quit. <clears throat> now I know that's not um, that's not really um, very like very good in terms of gameplay. But what I plan to do next week is have like a pause mode, so where um, where you'll basi you'll basically lose, and then um, and then it'll pause, and, you and then you'll be able to press a key to start again. Um, but that's actually that's actually more work than you'd uh, than you'd think it is. So I'll be doing that next week. But as well as hitting the side, um, the snake can also can like collide with itself. So if basically if the front square of the snake hits uh, any of the other squares, uh, which I, pr I need to make it a bit longer to be able to do. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, that causes the game to quit as well. Um, it might be a bit more playable if we can make the screen a bit bigger. Um, but I'll will have to see what it's like when we get the uh, when we get the actual actual Raspberry Pi. Um, but there's there's not actually that that much code. Um, and the only place you actually need to change is in this in the snake code. And uh, and basically what's going to happen is, um, <clears throat> when we come to our come to our update code here. Um, we've basically got if the update result is not false. So, so when you call um, when you call move on each part, um, that if if it's touching if one of the parts is touching the side, then that returns false. And um, and what that means is that um, the snake no longer moves, uh, which is why that wire loops there. Um, so if you remember, the snake would hit the side in the old game and then just stop until you change the direction. Um, so that's what that's what this bit's for. Um so what we're saying is um when update result gets set to false, then we're exiting um exiting the game. Now that's gonna be replaced with um with putting like a pause mode. Um but the the actual collision code um is here. And it, it's it's quite straightforward to be honest. Um basically um if we're still not false, so we've still not hit anything. We're saying um, for each part in the collection of parts, um, but we're actually starting at one, um, and basically, like a collection um, in most languages actually starts at zero. So the first item in the list is zero, and then you've got um, like one, two, three, and so on. And what we're saying it, what we're saying here is that we want to miss out the first item in the list, which is actually like the head of the snake, if that makes sense. Um, and then this this um, call on here just means that we're gonna we're gonna um, go through the rest. But you can actually put like another number. So if you wanted like from um, one to three or something like that. But we just want to go through them all. Um, and then we're basically gonna say if this part has collided with the um, with um, index zero of parts, which is actually gonna be like the head snake. Um, like so, like the first square. Um, so if that's true, then we set update result to false, um, which means we we exit the um, exit the game. 
and and that's that's really all the all the code that um that it takes and uh, and I know it's not a very long tutorial but as I've said I, I really don't see the point in um in starting a, a, another thing and then just um and then just leaving it for like probably what's going to be quite a few weeks of doing like um typical raspberry pi usage tutorials and also getting these tutorial um getting these like all the examples I've been doing um making sure they all work properly on the raspberry pi um which uh, which I'm hoping they will do um <clears throat> but yeah uh, that's about it um yeah cheers for watching and I'll uh, I'll see you next week thanks